Hi, I'm Colin, and in this video I'm going to show the waypoint options of the Hubson Zeno Pro. There are essentially two methods to enter waypoints. Either fly the drone manually to each waypoint and then record those, or use the XHubson app to enter waypoints directly on the map. There is also the option to set a POI or point of interest stroke focus point. I will now go over these options and show you how they are implemented. Go to waypoint settings and change these to realistic values of altitude and distance. This will avoid you inadvertently setting a waypoint beyond the horizon and maintain a visual line of sight. In the map menu, you can change the waypoint sampling accuracy. With the setting set at its lowest value, you will have the least number of waypoints created, though the flight path is more angular. With the setting set to its highest value, you will now have a greater number of waypoints created and a smoother flight path. The downside is more waypoints to individually edit for altitude, etc. In waypoint mode, press the left hand option Waypoint Mission Planning. Zoom into the area of interest on the map and press POI option, Point of Interest. Select POI and tap on the map at the position you want the focus point. Now select the Draw option and using the freehand left button draw the flight line you wish the drone to fly through. You will see the auto created waypoints. These can be individually edited for hover duration altitude. When completed, select the Submit button. The drone will now start to follow the waypoints with the camera always centred on the focus point. The gimbal pitch angle is the only camera control you have when in waypoints. Take a look at the lower inset image and you can see the camera locked on the focus point. Select Waypoint Mode, then Record Waypoints. You can now manually fly the drone to each waypoint and enter the recorded waypoint. Then fly to the next required position, recording them as you go. If you go outside the waypoint parameters, you have the option to keep the current waypoints or delete the waypoints. Now upload the waypoints to the drone and when successfully received the drone will start to fly the waypoint mission. You only have the option to adjust the gimbal pitch, the camera will always point in the direction of flight. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you found these videos informative. I'll be following up with creative applications and demonstrations of the Waypoint feature in future videos, so please keep an eye out for those. In the meantime, stay safe and thank you.